Alright folks, in this video you're going to be learning how to draw Lewis dot structures using an EN chart. We'll also cover molecular geometry, orbital geometry, hybridization, and axis notation. Let's get started. You're going to need two handouts. One of a periodic table, which you see here. The other is this handout. This handout is a molecular geometry handout that you will need. It is in Unit 3, Handout 6A on my website. So please make sure you have this before you get started. So let's get started. Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to draw the Lewis dot structure um, for CO2. Now remember, we're going to use an E in chart. E, A, and N. E stands for the elements, so that's carbon, oxygen, and oxygen. You're just making a list of the individual elements there. Uh, valence electron count is column A. Carbon is in column 14. It's got four. Oxygen is in column 16 on the periodic table, so it's got six. The need amount is not one of the very first five elements, so they will all need eight. If you're not for sure of how I'm getting these numbers, watch the first video. Okay. Now, uh, we need to total this up. A equals... Uh, 4 plus 6 is 10, 16. N equals, well, 8 times 3 is 24. My shared amount is obtained by subtracting these two numbers. 24 minus 16 is 8. Half of the shared electrons would give me my bonds. Bond count, half of 8, is 4. So that's important. I've got 4 bonds. Now the next thing I need to do is get my non-bonding electrons, my NBE. To get my NBE, uh, all I have to do is subtract my A minus S. 16 minus 8 is 8. Now, once again, if you don't understand where I got these numbers and how I subtracted or added or whatnot, just go back and watch the first video. Okay? Now, on methane. Now, what we need to do now is try to draw this. My central atom is carbon. I've only got one of them. I've got two substituents. So I've got two oxygens that need to be attached. One on, say, the right, and the other, say, on the left. So I only need a minimum of two bonds. A minimum of two bonds. But I calculated that I need four. If you calculated that you need four bonds, then you need to um, use all four bonds. Well, I can't put it out here or out here or out here or out here on the other ones because there's nothing attached to. But I can attach them back to themselves like this, making double bonds. And therefore, I will use all four of my bonds. Now, it's okay if you get too many bonds because you can make double bonds or triple bonds. But if you ever come up short on bonds, then you need to, you know, meaning you don't have enough bonds to attach stuff, then you need to go borrow bonds. Uh, by borrowing two electrons from the MBE, because remember, it takes two electrons to make a bond. Okay, but we we were good here. Now, if you look here, we've got to put eight dots somewhere. Well, notice that carbon is the only thing that's got an octet. Notice it's got four lines. Each line represents two. So right here you have two four. Then over here you have two four. So that makes a total count of two four six eight. So carbon has the 8 that it needed. Now, each oxygen does not have the 8 that it needs. It's only got 4 on the one on the left, and it's only got 4 on the one on the right. So we need to give them 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And if you count, that's 2, 4, 6, 8. I've used all 8 of my non-bonding electrons, and I satisfy the octet rule. I've got 2, 4, 6, 8. I've got 2, 4, 6, 8. So everything's got the 8 that it needs. Now, the only thing that we need to do now is figure out the molecular geometry. Uh, we need to also figure out the orbital geometry. We need to figure out the hybridization. And we need to figure out the X notation. And I'm about running out of room. 
we need to figure we need to figure out uh, also the hmm, what's the other one? Oh, pol polarity if it's polar or nonpolar. Okay. Now, notice here that you have two types of bonds. So what we have here is just I know we've got we calculated that we had four bonds. That's just four lines. So we've calculated that we have four. Uh, bonds. We drew the four bonds, but really you've only got two types of bonds, and the central atom has no lone pairs. So we're going to look for something on our chart that's two zero. We have two types of bonds with no lone pairs on the central atom. Now if you look on the sheet that I told you to, that you needed, you'll notice that two zero is linear. Okay, two zero is linear. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill in our answers to these questions. The molecular geometry, if you look for 2, 0, is linear. The orbital geometry is also linear. The hybridization, which is located right underneath the orbital geometry, is sp. And the x notation, if you look for it, is a x 2. Now the reason why it's 2 on the axe notation is because you've got two types of bonds. Okay, now as far as being polar or nonpolar, this one, since it's shaded gray, would be nonpolar. Now, that's it. Just watch the video again and again until it makes sense, and watch the first video if you need more details. Alright guys, I hope this helps.